So at the heart of polarization, we have a charge attracting opposite charges. So in fact, something very similar happens when a lightning cloud comes overhead. These clouds tend to have a lot of negative charge built up at the bottom of them. Haven't talked about how yet, but this negative charge gets there. And what happens is this negative charge in the clouds causes some of the negative charges in the ground to be repelled, leaving a deficit of electrons and an excess of protons. This causes the ground to actually become slightly positively charged. This concept of polarization is essential to the functioning of what we're going to find is Benjamin Franklin's solution to saving buildings from lightning strikes. Let's actually think about what would happen if instead of being a perfect sphere, we change the shape of our conductor. Because notice that with a sphere, well, the negative charges have a large surface over which they can distribute themselves. What if we made this a pointier shape? Not a sphere, but a cone. Well, I still expect polarization to happen, but qualitatively, is there any real difference between what happened with the sphere and what happened with the cone? At the tip of this cone, is the concentration or density of negative charges higher than it was with the sphere, lower, or the same? And I admit, this is a quite a tricky question. Think about it and take your best guess, but don't worry if you're wrong. 